Well, Chair, thank you very much, and may I also extend a very cordial welcome to the Shadow Secretary of State, even if the wind chill on Tynemouth Beach in February is anything but warming. Tynemouth is a grand Victorian seaside town, but, as I'm sure Mr. Clark will know, uh, a short metro ride from the coast into Newcastle and on to Gateshead will lead you to some outstanding examples of contemporary urban regeneration. My own university has been an extremely active partner in this work, and this is true in general of universities throughout the North East, at Newcastle, Sunderland, Durham, and Teesside. Not far from the Millennium Bridge, Baltic, Sage, and Gateshead, Northumbria University has built an eye-catching and award-winning campus for its Newcastle Business School and its schools of law and of design, which is extending its reach, the latter of these two, the design school that is, with a satellite base in London, which we formally open next week. Later this year, we will open the UK's most modern indoor sports arena for our students, researchers and our staff, a facility which will also be available to the people of the city. These have been very welcome capital investments, but we all recognise that our investment priorities today and into the future will need to be leaner and more concentrated. I personally do not share the more alarming statements that have been made about a sector, a higher education sector, at risk of being brought to its knees by cuts, and Northumbria has been frank, I believe, and realistic about the need to operate even more efficiently and within the means available. The public would expect universities to bear their own share of the belt tightening ahead. The element of protection afforded to research and innovation, which all parties have acknowledged will aid recovery, is a positive step, and we welcome the Higher Education Funding Council for England's intention to continue to fund the very best work wherever it is found and at a higher rate. Investing in high-quality research and education, doing even more to strengthen the employability of graduates and to prepare them both for the professions and for the highly skilled and still relatively new sectors which are critical to our modern economy is our principal focus. When Northumbria was established as a university in the year in which the large majority of our current applicants were born, Ken Clark, as Secretary of State, is reported to have told a sceptical former ministerial colleague that it was, and I quote, an idea whose time has come, unquote. Eighteen years on, we welcome the progress made in the sector and the very significant extent to which higher education institutions have become part of the mainstream economic and social development and civic partnership. 1992 saw the creation of two types of institution. But today, there are at least three operating models uh, in the UK. There are research-intensive universities, of which Newcastle and Durham are fine examples, and many more recently established universities with a marked focus on teaching. But there is also a third, a new type of excellent university, of which Northumbria is a leading representative, strong in the fundamental activities of teaching and research, and in, and in using these activities to make a real difference to people, enterprises and communities. These institutions are strongly business-facing, motors for economic development, producing highly adaptable and employable graduates with global perspective. They seek to provide an outstanding student experience while excelling in conducting internationally renowned research that drives innovation, that really makes a difference. Many predominate in the provision of master's level professional education to meet the skills needs of the new economy. Indeed, research published last week by the British Library and the Higher Education Policy Institute included Northumbria along, alongside Manchester, Nottingham, of which Mr. Clark is an honorary graduate, University College London and LSE in the 10 biggest providers in the UK of postgraduate taught education. The North East of England contains expertise and commitment which can help meet the country's innovative, creative and commercial needs in the years ahead. I'm sure that colleagues across the sector share my own university's very strong desire to develop professional relationships of mutual benefit with our public and private sector partners and to strengthen the diversity and economic success of our city and region. Through One North East and other partnerships, there is a sharp and genuine appetite 
to collaborate and to make progress. I welcome the opportunity to underline this commitment and Northumbria University is also delighted to play a leading role in the North East Economic Forum and to support this opportunity for the Shadow Secretary of State to share with us his insights and observations at such a critical point in the political cycle. Thank you very much.